ladies and gentlemen, it is getting tense. Welcome to the contracts and agreements section of this course. So, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people, this is kind of something that they, uh, they worry about, they stress about going into it. Uh, and I'm basically just here to settle your mind regarding contracts, agreements, liability, this, that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. First thing, obviously, I have to say this. Uh, say this. This is not legal advice. I am not liable. Please consult an expert, <laughs> please. Um, or if you're gonna take my advice once again, I'm, I'm not liable. I am. I am not. This is not legal advice. One of uh, the best ways to actually consult or get legal advice is, is LegalZoom. Now, LegalZoom is, uh, I think it's around $300 a year or something like that. And it's just a very, very cheap and affordable way for you to get actually good um, legal advice, you know, regarding contracts, agreements, uh, liability, this, that, et cetera, et cetera. I've never used it personally, so I can't really vouch for it. Um, but that said, I'm going to leave a link, uh, right below this video or something like that, um, for you to actually go ahead and, uh, and check out legal zoom. As I said, I've never used it personally, uh, because I'm in a fortunate position where I have mentors and those mentors have lawyers and those mentors can just kind of quickly like sneak in, you know, what, 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 what do you do in this situation? And, uh, I also have a lot of friends whose uh, parents or sisters are lawyers. So I get a lot of just legal advice for free. Um, very, very fortunate for that. But if I didn't know anyone, um, I would 100% use LegalZoom. Uh, so first thing uh, is refer to the contract outlined in the resources section of this course. Guys, in the resources section of this course, you will find a, uh, you know, a template uh, contract. Now this is a contract that I use personally. Um, you know, you can shift it around and whatnot. Um, it's just, it's a very sort of vague template. You know, if you want something that's a, kind of like a plug and play, just go ahead, use that. As I said, <laughs> this is not legal advice. I have not held liable. Uh, if you want to use it, go for it. It's worked for me. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully it works for you as well. The next thing that I want to talk about is understanding the futility of contracts. Now, futile basically means just fucking pointless and that's really what contracts are look when you are playing at the level that we're playing at me maybe a bit more as i go into you know these higher tiers but look you need to understand something if a client fucks you over for a thousand dollars do you think you're going to take legal action if a client fucks you over for five thousand dollars do you think you're going to take legal action unless it's probably like twenty five thousand dollars plus i don't see very many people taking legal action um so one thing that I need you to understand, um, and this hopefully puts your mind to rest, is contracts are just so futile, so useless. You have to protect yourself in other ways, which, as I said, you know, the, the, this alone is worth five times the price of the course. Like the importance of getting your contracts and agreements in point, on point, and um, as, as I said once again, understanding that contracts are futile. Contracts are just not really important. So. Let's get uh, let's get into as I said, let's get into how you actually protect yourself. First of all, man to man set working expectations and this is between you and the client. Look guys, if you go in and you say, yeah, you know, I'll be contact you th contacting you three times a week, blah blah, and then you don't contact them three times a week, like be very like of course they're going to be pissed or they're going to kind of be like, okay, you set some whack acts uh, whack expectations you know um, I once again I said my expectations very clear with my clients you'll probably hear from me twice maybe once a month you know um, and we're not having any face-to-face -face end of month meetings you know what you know why why would that be necessary I travel a lot once again I'm not doing this like the way I'm explaining it to you I don't explain it to them I'm not like why would I sit in front of you blah blah but you know obviously frame it I frame it in a better way but you need to set working expectations. So how many times a week are you gonna contact them? Um, you can write this down in the contract if, if you really want to. Um, but as I said, contracts are just futile. 
How many times a week are they expecting you to contact them? How many times a month are they expecting you to contact them? Uh, when does invoicing start? When does invoicing end? You know, when is their cancellation period? Blah, blah, this, that. You'll see on the contract that I use, you know, if they want to cancel, say, you know, say now is January and they want to cancel, you know, February and cancel from February, they have to let me know by the 18th of January. Um, otherwise, you know, they have to stay on another month. Okay. So, uh, you know, you just set working expectations. Uh, and as I said, that's just between you and the client really. Um, and it really is one of those things where it's just man to man, woman to woman, man to woman, like, well, business owner to business owner, you set the expectations and contract really won't save either party from, you know, not holding up their end. So guys always, always invoice ahead of time. I cannot even begin to tell you how important this is. Always invoice ahead of time and look at competing industries. They're all protected. Okay. All of them are right. Um, and what I mean by this is look, go look at basically one of my, one of my mentors, he owns a, a really big web design agency in, with, in web development. Basically what they can do is they can hand over the final work. And then if the client doesn't pay, they can literally take down the site within like 30 days or something. Like they literally have the ability to do that uh, with say like any sort of content creation, stuff like that. They will always, always add watermark to it before and then payment is sent and then they'll send the unwatermarked version of it. Okay. So in pretty much any, you know, for example, say someone like, I guess you could say someone like a doctor or like a dentist, like you pay at the end, but yeah, that's because you're physically in front of them. Like you would physically have to like run out of the building, you know? So, you know, anything where like, you're not physically in front of them in a situation, as I said, where you're doing web development work, for content creation work, stuff like that. All these people are protected and you should be, it should be the exact same thing for you. So in order to do that, understand the work that goes in before the exchange of money. If you're doing a uh, paid traffic for them, understand, you know, explain to them, I have to create the adverts. I have to create the, um, you know, I have to create the, the copy, the ad copy. I have to do the market research. I have to actually onboard you onto my, my system, stuff like that. And before I actually run an ad, of course, you, you know, I'm going to take the invoice because I've already, you know, I've front loaded a bunch of work, but then obviously, you know, I have to protect myself as well. So that's when the invoice comes in and that's when all the advertising rolls out, right? Say you're doing content creation and social media management or say just social media management, all the content, uh, uh, the assets come in, you know, you write up or you or your, whoever does it or writes up the copy schedules, everything, but then until the payment goes through, the first post will not go through, you know? Um, so I see a lot of people, it causes them a lot of anxiety. I used for my first like three months, I used to do all the work, then invoice at the end. And I have never been robbed of an invoice. I've never been treated poorly or anything like that. But I remember like one time a client was like 18 days late, which to most people is like 18 days. That's nothing. But like, to me, it caused me a lot of stress. Um, and I'm just like, like, why is this taking so long? Um, so understand your work before the exchange of money and always and I repeat always invoice ahead of time. Now, if they refuse to pay before the work gets distributed, big red flag, uh, uh, stay the fuck away. Because if, if that's the case, it's pretty much well, one of two reasons. Either they're so cash flow tight that they need results to come in before they can even pay you. Or they just have weird, like they have some weird intentions because like what, like why else would they not? be comfortable in paying you when you've already done some work. Now you're just distributing the results like big red flag. If a company does that to you, I would, I would drop them on the spot. Trust me. They are not worth the trouble. Set monthly outcomes to protect yourself later down the line. Now clients, a lot, you know, later down the line, they'll, uh, and but this is by the way, this is outside of the contract later down the line. They'll be like, yeah, but you didn't deliver on blah, blah, blah. And you go, no, fuck you. Like, here is the outcomes. Here were the KPIs, key performance indicators. I don't really like using those, but like uh, every at the beginning of every month, I go, what is the outcome you want? And if the outcome or their sort of expectations are too whack, I'll tell them, I'm like, look, this is not possible within this time frame, Right. But, um, you know, set yourself monthly outcomes so that if it comes to the end of the month, you know, you can kind of protect yourself in that situation. Action step guys, draw up a template contract, use as much or as little of the contract provided in the course as you like. 
Now, guys, use a template uh, contract so that you can plug and play different names, different expectations, stuff like that. Um, like, do you 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 want to? It's a contract. is something you want to have in place so you can you know you can plug in their name and and get going and plug in expectations, retainer amount, stuff like that, um, and you can get going as soon as possible. You know. Um, uh, I'm going to give you guys, as I said, a sort of a template or a contract that I use with uh, my clients. Um, but yeah, you uh, you want to have it in place. And as I said, you also want to understand the futility of contracts. Uh, it's just very futile. It's, it's just kind of fucking pointless. Like you're not going to, if they fuck you for $2,000, you're not really going to sue them, are you? Um, so that's why you just need to protect yourself. Make sure you invoice ahead of time. And, uh, and you'll, you should have no issues. I've never had any issues with uh, invoicing or never had a client uh, decline payment or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, hope that's uh, hope that is clear to a few things for you guys. And uh, I will see you guys in the next module.